is Sabrina Silva with Katie Marimba. Hello again. I am a professional music teacher and I've been teaching for 20 years. I've taught privately, I've taught uh, uh, little ones, I've taught adults, and I've also been teaching in the public school system for 12 years at the elementary level, kindergarten through fifth. I am currently teaching choir, junior high, sixth through eighth grade. I have found that marimba has been the best way to introduce a student to music and get them excited about it and learn about the different musical concepts um, and especially how to play in an instrument group. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content of this video. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, at Katie Marimba, and I'm also on Twitter at Katie Marimba, and of course, my website, www.katiemarimba.com, where you can find out about my group classes that I offer. Uh, I do offer private group classes uh, where we put pieces together, we rehearse as a, as a group, and then we perform them someplace here in Katie. This video is going to include intermediate level warm up. So if you have an older classroom or musicians that are just more experienced than the beginner level, this is for you. These are warm ups that we use in our regular rehearsal. We focus on the scale just so everyone can get used to going up the scale and going down the scale. The warm ups that you're going to be seeing today are going to be working in thirds because in marimba playing, you do play a lot of thirds uh, to keep things nice and melodic and harmonic. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I almost, I'm always ready to have new subscribers. So anyway, I hope you enjoy and find this helpful. Intermediate level, I'm actually gonna use the metronome because I find that it helps to hear the beat. So that way you can uh, figure out how, how this pattern fits within the beat. I really want to focus on accuracy because I'd rather have a very accurate player than a player that is going fast but has no clue what they're hitting. <laughs> it's gonna sound like this. Okay, and what I want you to pay attention to is where the beat falls as we play. Ready, set, here we go. gonna bounce on back Lower them up we're gonna do the same thing but this time we're not gonna put the rest in between ready set here we go to do C, C, E, C. So you're gonna start with your left hand and we're gonna go up the scale, just playing that particular pattern. And then when we get here, we're gonna switch our hands and we're gonna go right hand. We're gonna leave with the right hand. So it's right, right, left, right, 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 left, right. And down the scale, all right? Ready, set, here we go. typical pattern that Walt Hampton likes to do and one that I think is, is super fun to play. Um, it sounds like this. Um, it's a fun pattern. Your right hand pretty much just steady eighths while your left hand goes against it. So when we come back down the scale, we're going to switch hands. So this hand is going to be faster than this one. Right. Ready, set, here we go. Here we go. That one 
was tricky. I actually had to really think on that one. Okay, so those are my intermediate warm-ups. Again, you don't have to use all three of them. If you just wanna use one at a time, that is fine. If you want to have your students play along with me to get used to them at first and then take them at your own tempo, I do hope you enjoy this, you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna go to my website at katiemarima.com to find out more. Maybe you want to register for one of my classes. That would be great. I'm always looking for new players. And uh, I hope you all have a great break. See y'all later.